And hello, people. Welcome back to MO7 Productions. As always, this is me, Moretti, with another episode of Minds of Insanity Beta Season 3. Uh, as you could probably tell, the house looks very different. The animals are all very different. The seed almost looks different. Um, and we have some animals and horses in all of our farms from previous episodes. Uh, what happened was some of our mods updated, so uh, it wound up corrupting the world, and I had to therefore, um, well, basically generate a new world. I used the same seed, and, you know, we're in the exact same big plane that we were before. Uh, only difference is I only have two waypoints now, so it'll be a lot more exploring going on. We also added in some other new mods. Uh, the latest updated version of the Aether mod. Always a big fan of them. Uh, by the way, any background music put in by our editor, uh, Charlie, otherwise known as Metal007, uh, will be courtesy of Incompetech and, um, Kevin McLeod. Love your work, especially Meatball Parade. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's get on with it then. So, let me give you a brief tour of the house, show you some of the stuff we got around here. You know, we got our basic anvil and our crafting area here. We have a battery of furnaces that I put in. Uh, let's see, we got some chests here. I went down here. I made these nice jaded ladders. They're really cool. Watch what you can do with them. See, you can climb up and down them like they're ladders. Uh, this is our basement. This is our bed, you know. Uh, here's some of the resources I had the minions collect for me. Um, as you can see in my inventory, we have all the same stuff we did before. I, I crafted this shield and I said, wait, why are there two shields? Why is there a shield in my hotbar, but also one here? What? Oh, I must have made two. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, you know, I mean, we have some iron to spare. And we have some stuff here in the chest that I know I had. Uh, yeah. I threw out a lot of the junk we had in there because I just didn't need it. Uh, plus, this is a fresh seed. We can always just make more. Um, yeah, here are the horses. And they're, they're real cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't ever actually get a chance to show this to you guys. This is a really neat tool, uh, added by the... Let's see. But, yeah, it is Tinker's Construct, and it, it's got some great usage. Just, just, just let me show you here. Okay, okay. Boom. I now have a pig. See? I have a pig on my back. And now, it's off. <laughs> oh yeah, best put my helmet back on. It is nighttime. Uh, yeah. So I, I made some arrows for my bow. And, uh, yeah. So that's, that's how things are going so far. Uh, our farms. I definitely did some work with the farms. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, these are melons. These are pumpkins, uh, beetroots, wheat, carrots, potatoes, cacti, uh, sugar cane. I still haven't found a jungle biome. Luckily, I did have those melon seeds. Uh, these are some of the local horses. I just rounded them up. You know. Oh, and this is our, this is our very nice, uh, our nice garden area. Oh, wait, is there more horses over here? Oh, there are. Eh. I may go exploring over here briefly. Uh-oh. Die, spider! Yeah, all them Skyrim. <laughs> All those hours of playing Skyrim and using the crossbows made me deadly at- Oh, look, there are more horses over here. I didn't even notice that. 
yeah. But we do have to be careful because we are far from the strongest things out here. I can killify most monsters very easily, but uh, there are some... Oh, shit. Uh... Okay, now this, this may be a first-hand example of an area I don't want to go near. I'm gonna go up towards it now, and this... <gasps> what, where the hell is it? I can... I can hear it, but I don't see it. Get back, Creeper. Get back. Get back. Get back, zombie. <gasps> oh, it's over there. Wonder what happens if I go. But yeah, that's a dragon from the Ice and Fire mod. Oh dear sweet mother butts, it's coming after me. Run! Oh shit, it moves fast. God, run. Run faster. Run faster! Is it still a- Oh yeah, it's still after me! God damn it. I can't lead it back to the house. It'll burn everything. Oh no, it is right behind me. There's no slowing this fucker down, is there? I'm gonna have to face him. Maybe he can't get through the trees. Uh, nope, nope. He can most certainly get through the trees. Fuck. Okay, uh... What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Die, dragon! Die! This is Skyrim all over again! Wait. I don't think he can break the tree. No idea if I'm even doing enough damage. I think he's stuck. Ow! He blows the arrow right back at me. Ow! He bit me. Okay, I'm gonna try and go ham. Ouch! Shit! No! Well. Well, that was not... Okay, this is... This is turning out very badly. Uh... So, not only have I managed to lure a dragon back to the house... Uh, back to closer to the house, I'd say. Um, I have also somehow <laughs> lost all of my gear. I hope to God it didn't break my gravestone, because that's going to suck. If I go back there and my gravestone is broken. And on top of everything, it is nighttime and raining. So, wait a minute, I think it may be asleep. It is. Oh, great googly moogly, time to run. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll leave me alone long enough to put my armor back on. Then I can try to find a way to kill it. 
Where is it? Okay, I know it's close. Oh, see that? That's a lantern. It's added by uh, a Mousy's Mobs mod. They're real cool. I, I like them. They float around and they glow and they just sort of... Ow. Oh, oh shit. Where's, where's my uh, shovel? My shovel. Oh, I should probably put it on the shield. That would be useful. Run, spider. Run. The dragon is here. Okay, I can't let that dragon be this near the house. I'm gonna have to do something. <laughs> spider, are you trying to kill me? Ah, there's the dragon. Should probably get my bow. Creeper, you are not sneaking up on me, you... Oh, shit. He can break leaves, but I don't think he can break much else. Get out of here! No one likes you, Creeper. No one. The one who says they do is lying. Oh, fuck. Did he just dig under me? Oh my god, he's under me! Shit, shit, run! I was turned into KFC! I am original recipe and extra crispy. Fuck. Damn it. And it's not gonna be as easy getting my gear back this time, because it ain't night. Oh, boy. <laughs> I am having a run of tough luck. I gotta kill this thing before it, it destroys the area. I gotta murder this. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, I, I mean, thankfully, it... No way. That gravestone will be there all day. I can go get my stuff whenever I want. But the dragon... ...is away from its horde. I may be able to get something strong enough to kill it in its horde. I'm gonna give it a shot. I mean, hey, worst case scenario, it murders me into oblivion. Uh, best case scenario, I get some sweet loot. I don't think he knows. This is, I think it's gold or something. Or some books, I could make bookshelves with these. Oh, that's an ender lily seed. And these are manuscript pages for the uh, bestiary in this mod. Ooh, obsidian. That's good. I mean, I have a diamond pickaxe, so, you know, kind of redundant, but... Okay, I think this is all I should try and go for. Chickens, leave me alone. I'm, I'm hellbound, and nothing good is going to happen from following me, so... Let me just get all this shit off my hotbar and see if I can go get my stuff back without that dragon seeing and murdering me to oblivion. Okay. Okay. I gotta... Gotta go get my weapons first. Pig, get out of my way, or you will face... My wrath. Since when do spiders still target you during the during rainstorms? That, that's not something spiders are supposed to do. Oh shit. 
Uh, crap, what do I throw out? Because some of this stuff's too useful. I believe here. I'll throw out the gunpowder, these seeds, this extra shield. Uh, what, what else can I throw out? Oh, yeah, these saplings. I have oak sapling. I don't have any dark oak, though. Uh, I don't know what the usefulness of charred dirt is. You know what? I'll throw out the apple. The apple's the least healing item on in this air, in this game anyway. I mean, I should probably eat some cooked chicken. Okay. Now if I can make my way back home and, uh, The sound of wings. Okay, it's over there. Actually, you know what? I should do the smart thing that I haven't been doing this whole time and uh, remove these and then teleport home. I will teleport home, but this stuff that I got in here so I don't lose it like a chump and then go back to fight the dragon. Because, let's be honest, if I back out fighting the dragon now, it's going to come over here, and it's going to stab me in the ass. <laughs> so let me throw all this stuff I don't need. Actually, it might be a good idea to get a bucket of water. Uh, damn, I am running low on arrows. Okay, that... That'll have to be good enough. Um, yeah, now before you go asking, what the hell are you talking about getting a bucket of water? Uh, well, you know how dragons breathe fire? Yeah, that's, that's my logic there. If the dragon ha if the dragon breathes fire, then I will have water. Uh, granted, that may just wind up making me boil, but, you know. Gotta try something. Um, actually, you know what? We are nearing the first 20 minute mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording right about here. And when I'm back, uh, next episode, uh, we will go and try and kill that dragon. I know it's going to be a challenge. Dragons are murderous things, and uh, we will have to just murder it harder. So, uh, till next time, this is Moretti, signing off. Bye!